Well, today I'm super excited because for the first time in a long time, Blue and Star Defense 6 has added in a brand new tower. That's right, the Monkey Engineer is finally here. A favorite tower going back to Bloons Tower Defense 5. Now, of course, you know what that means for us. We gotta take it to the test. We gotta push it to the limits for the Tier 5 towers, all from the Monkey Engineer. First, we have the Sentry Paragon, which creates super powerful but highly unstable sentries. Now, I don't know what that means, but maybe we get some hints from the prior upgrades of it. This one right here, for instance, Sentry Expert, makes us throw down sentries of all different kinds that have specialties in popping different balloons. Something, something where these turrets are specialized in doing things like killing camo balloons, lead balloons, ceramic balloons, you get the drift. Next up, we have Ultra Boost. And to understand what he does, well, let's take a look at the overclock ability before. Targets monkeys become super powered for 60 seconds. But now we have a brand new thing where overclocked monkeys get a small but permanent boost each time overclock wears off. Which leads me to believe that means it's going to keep stacking and stacking and stacking and you can make some insanely good towers. Next up, we have a favorite one, which is the Balloon Trap. Only this time, it's back with a vengeance because the XXXL trap allows you to trap any type of balloon. And as the image shows, that includes Moabs. So you know what that means. Let's push it to the limit here. We're going to put it on easy mode, standard, and let's get on into it. Goes without saying, to start us off, we're going to have to put down one of the monkey engineers himself. So let's go ahead. We'll put him down right here. And uh, then we'll just hit the play button. And while we're getting ready, I'm going to drop in all these cash drops to get us started off because we're going to need a lot of money in order to get these towers because i don't know if you caught the price of them but we're talking big time we're talking like these things are not cheap in any sense of the word so let's go ahead and put down more of these banana farms there we go one two and can we fit we can't even fit two more down there wow there's not a lot of space in this map is there all right we'll do one two and then we'll do one, two. And that's okay, because we have plenty, plenty, plenty of banana farmers. So let's go and... Where's our banana? Oh, we, we scrolled too far down. I was like, what menu is this? All right, we'll put a banana farmer here and a banana farmer there. But to show you guys how much this costs for these monkey engineers, take a look at this. Ready? The upgrade list. 27,000, not much. 102,000, a lot. And 51,000 for the other. So pretty much what we're saying is this is no way shape or form a cheap thing to do also we're gonna pretend like i totally didn't just mess that one up and uh, we're gonna grab one more cash drop there and hopefully that'll fix up the situation here i accidentally went the wrong way with it so this should be going towards there in the middle and it said i went the bottom route because i just was not paying attention so let's go and take care of that and Boom, there we go. And uh-oh, looks like we're going to have to start making these monkey engineers a little bit more powerful, which is fine. That won't cost very much. So let's get our first sentry gun, and we'll start there. I want the guy in the front to be going all the way up with the different types of towers. Uh, so he's going to be our first one right here, a sentry paragon. Then I'll probably stick the overclock one right about here so that he can get that one in his range and any others I feel like putting down because we're going to put down a lot of them. We're trying to get to wave 80 is our end goal only using these types of towers. So th there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of them. Don't you worry about it. Um, all right. Well, let's go and get that. Thank you. And we're going to want one to go to the bottom route, as always. And, of course, we'll take one over here that'll be like a bank. So he'll be off to the side. We don't really care too much about what that one does. It just kind of sits there, and that's pretty much all it's meant to do, really. So... Anyway, we got those good. Um, there we go. Got another one of those, and perfect. So we're making the we're making some of the money here. I wouldn't say we're making the big bucks yet, but largely the beginning waves are just gonna be all about survival uh, until we can get enough money to start to avo uh, afford not avoid afford other things. Okay, so slowly we've been getting a little bit more money. So I think we can go ahead and get faster engineering that allows us to spawn them in quicker. And let's take a look at the other upgrades. So we can get pin pins balloons in place for a short time, which is pretty cool. Oversized nails, which you can take out. Whoa, pop eight balloons at once. That's pretty good. Larger surface area makes it so you can affect more area. I, I'm not too concerned about that one. Deconstruction nail gunshots do extra damage to Moab class. We're not really worried about Moab class this early on, so I'm going to stick with oversized real quick, and that's what I'm going to be really, really, really focusing on with that tower there. So let's see if that alone will be able to protect us. I'm pretty sure it will be able to do a number on it, so that's that's good. Also, take a look at this. We, we borrowed some money in order to get one of our upgrades here, which is one of the cool things about this uh, 
bank here. So the bank allows you to borrow the money, and then you can go ahead and, well, you have to pay it back eventually, but in the meantime, you get to use it to, uh, to advance other researches, like that one. And it makes it easier and easier to make more money. So it's pretty good. That's why you want the bank off to the side. It will help you get these other upgrades a lot quicker. Also, how cool is that new... Look, it freezes them to the ground. That is so cool. That's something we haven't seen in Bloons Tower Defense 5. So that's brand new specifically just to this game, which is uh, really cool to see. Okay, there we go. And boom, had enough to get that upgrade. And now all we need to do is get... Oh, actually, I completely forgot one of these guys was supposed to be going the the market way. That's okay, though, because we can just do that. And luckily, it collects its own stuff, so we don't even have to worry about that at all. And you know what? Actually, I always make this mistake with that. I'm pretty sure we've proven by now that you make more money with the market if you go the center route for valuable bananas. Because each one of those gives you now 25. Also, we have the camo balloon there, so we're going to need to do something about stopping him. So let's see if there's anything in the monkey engineer arsenal that will allow us to target specifically camo ones. And there is cleansing foam right here, which is why I always love these things. So what we're going to do is, as promised, we're going to go ahead and put down another monkey engineer right nearby him. Because he's going to be our overclock one as well. So we're going to get him to go right here. Cleansing foam, check, and now let's see. Do we want to do faster engineering or pin? I would say sentry guns and faster engineering would probably be more preferable for him. So there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I wish you could choose where he shoots out his cleansing foam. He always puts it in like the worst of places. Where it's like, that's not going to really help us in the slightest over there. Um, all right, well, keep on keeping on. We need 51,000 at Monkey Wall Street here. Luckily enough, though, our monkey engineers are doing a great job in the front there. And we're almost at wave 30 right now. So we're, we're, we're moving and grooving, moving and grooving. I just realized my webcam is covering it, so I'll show you for one second. That's where the monkey wall street is. Uh, totally just realized I was covering it, but that's all right. It's not... You're not missing much. It literally doesn't do anything. It just sits there and makes you money. And oh my, so we have lead balloons here. Luckily, cleansing foam, as you can see, is able to pop them. But that is going to be a problem later on in the game. So what we should do is put another one of these guys down right here with more cleansing foam. And this one can pop those. And let's, let's get that as well. There we go. So that's annoying, though. Is there anything at all that I guess a balloon trap would do the trick? But wowza. That is not a pretty one at all. All right, and ooh, we can actually borrow money to get Monkey Wall Street there. Perfect. And now we have Monkey Wall Street, and it's all thanks to this bank letting us borrow that money there. All right, next up we have Banana Central, and then last but not least, we're going to get the Monkey Nomics. I think actually maybe Monkey Nomics first. Let's go Monkey Nomics first, and then we'll go for the other one. And here's something cool we can do, everyone. You ready? So we're going to hit play, borrow, then boom, get that next upgrade. And now we managed to get it all the way up to its final tier using pretty much just borrowed money, which is pretty awesome. Oh, now they're starting to break through a lot. So we got to go ahead and start specializing this guy in the back here. Now, I don't want to put him at... Ah, actually, we could put him at... Uh, let's put the balloon trap in the front, just simply because... That will actually produce extra money for you. So the cool part about the balloon trap, that it doesn't really go into set. Oh, tap to empty full trap for ca Oh, never mind, it does actually tell you about it. I was going to say, like, I don't think it does, but it does. So, yeah, that's pretty much what he's known for being good at. So that is always good. What does deconstruction do? Nail gun shots do extra damage to Moab class and fortify. Well, we like the sound of that. Especially being he's going to be in the front, hopefully helping us take out those Moabs with his awesome trap ability that'll eat the Moabs alive, which I can't wait to see that a tier five that'll literally just eat Moab balloons. That's crazy. And ooh, I just realized we're actually closing in right now on our first Moab balloon round. We're going to need him to be level 51 if we want the best. Well, let's see what happens if we don't do it. Let's see what happens if we don't get that first, because I'd rather just keep saving up the money just for a little longer till we can get one last one right there to Banana Central, and then kind of seeing from there how it all goes. Okay, well, keep it up, keep it up. Also, we got to keep reminding pe ourselves periodically we can get that $10,000 bonus there, and we'll be looking all pretty. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that, plus this balloon traps make it extra cash for us. Gotta love it. Got to love it. All right. Um... 2,400 in there. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Okay. Oh, man. Is that trap even eating? Oh, okay, it is. It is periodically eating them. I was like, I don't even know if it's actually working right now. And, oh, there it is! It looks like they were able to stop it 
temporarily here. But I don't think that's going to be enough. So we're going to have to do a little bit of this. And oh man, well, we risked it. But we're just going to keep you know, continue because that literally just... Like I said, it was more so a test than anything else to see if we could do it without getting that. So let's go ahead then and boom. And there we go. Good enough. Free play now. All right. Yay. Free play. All right. This is where it really all matters. So let's go ahead and save up to get that XXL trap. Like I said, I know that technically that was game over for it, but like I said, that was just, we're, we're experimenting here. So there we go. Now this is the super large trap. I can only imagine how much more can fit in there besides just Moab balloons. So let's see how much it's going to sell for in the end. I'm actually curious. I'm really curious. I'm keeping my eye on it. It still hasn't filled up yet though. How is the trap not filled up yet? All right, well, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and get our overclock friend there. Oh, he's just outside. You know what, actually? No, this is a bold move, but I'm selling him because I want him to be closer to the other one so that that way we can get... Yeah, now he's inside of the area, and that way we're doing a lot more with him. Because I want him to be able to overclock this guy for a permanent boost. I want to see what that looks like. Because that sounds really cool to me. Um, okay, so we're actually pretty close to being able to afford that. So that's good. And we're going to want to go ahead and get more of these. Which, by the way, the bottom root gets double... Ooh, double gun sounds cool, but... I don't really know how much I want to do that just yet. Let's get an overclock ability right there in the front, though. Just in case we need. And... Oh my gosh. The fortified ones just get eaten alive by the trap. I still haven't seen it being cleared yet. I really want to know how much money that goes for. And ultra boost. There it is. So that is another tier five right there ready to go. Let's see. The ultra boost ability. Select a monkey. So now he is now overclocked and technically speaking should be progressively more and more powerful permanently even after the overclock ability goes away. That's what it said. Now, I don't know if it stacks or not, but I'm going to hope that it does. And we're going to keep on using that on that same exact tower just repeatedly over and over again. So there we go. One tier five here. One tier five there. Now we have only one more tier five to go, which is one that's going all the way up the roots. So let's see. Do we want... We probably want that guy to be deconstruction when we get to him. So let's go ahead then and... I'm going to put him right here so he's also within the overclock abilities range. And let's go ahead. Boom, the Sentry Paragon. And then we're going to want to give him a deconstruction ability so that he does extra damage to the Moab balloons. There he is. Look at him in all of his glory. Look at all these engineers in all their glory. They're just all killing the game right now. Um, all right, anyone else can we get? No, that can't be upgraded. Can't be upgraded. Okay, they all can't be upgraded. This guy right here, though, most certainly can be upgraded. So let's go ahead and do that a little bit. And, jeez, they are just getting wiped out here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put down another guy right here. I'm really curious how long this charade can last. Because I don't really know. Oh my gosh! It literally crashed the entire game. I've been playing a lot of Blue Cider Fed 6, and I've just never had the entire game crash on me. It looks like, luckily, it had my saved game here, so let's see if it's actually... And there it is. Well, I don't know what it is, but I think what we... I, I'm trying to think back in my head. I think the last thing we did was do Ultra Boost, and that happened, so... I mean, we'll try it again. I don't see why that would cause that to happen. It really shouldn't, but... All right, there we go. Well, let's just uh, stay to ourselves then here. Let's just keep on fast-forwarding through the waves. The next big one up is 60, which will be the medium wave for us. But if we can beat that, that means technically we could use these towers as they are to get to at least wave 60. But I'm curious if we can get to wave 80. That's really the big test. All right, a little update here. Still going to wave 62. Haven't even bothered putting any more down, which is pretty shocking. And in reality, if you look, this is how powerful it is. That trap is picking up the reinforced Moab balloons and just eating them alive. I mean, 
we've yet to have anything even come close to passing that. And we're on wave 63. So, just to give you an idea of how powerful these things are, that that's pretty much it right there. Look, the only time to get past it is when the trap momentarily has to unfortunately disappear. But there we go. He has now been, uh, he's been overclocked here again. It says times one. Is that the number of times that he's been actually, like, extra overclocked? Yeah, times two, it says. Wait a minute, so it does keep track. So maybe it does, like, raise it by, like, a permanent, like, 10% or something and keep on going from there. I'm actually really curious what that means. I'm, I'm going to attack another one on here just to see if that is the case. Oh my god! There's actually a problem with overclocking! Well, luckily again, it did save where we last left off. I'm gonna try and overclock it just to prove the point, and then other than that, I am I am done with it. I don't want to be messing around crashing every five seconds uh, for whatever known reason. I mean, it just came out like a day or two ago, so it doesn't surprise me that there are some bugs around it, but... Or maybe it's just unlucky me, I'm not sure, but either way... That was times two. Let's see, once it's done with its boost, will it permanently have a times three marker on it or not? That's the big question. And if it doesn't, then why? Why doesn't it? Because I feel like it should, unless I'm crazy. All right, so it's a new wave. Let's see. And it does times three, so I guess it does stack. Now, once again, I don't know how much of a difference it makes. Probably if I had to even take a stab at it, maybe like 10% each time. Um, but we'll leave it alone for now. Simply so we don't crash again. For added protection in the back here, even though I really don't need it, I'm going to go ahead and just put a bunch of traps down. Um, like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it's highly unnecessary, but it'll catch anything that kind of comes through. So it's, I mean, it's, it's more or less just a why not. I, I really don't think anything's even going to make it that far. And of course, these ones, unlike the Tier 5, won't collect any kind of Moab balloon or anything like that. However, that being said, I mean, they still have value in case, like, ceramic balloons try to sneak past or something like that. I, 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 I think there's definitely a lot of value in it still. So there we go. And let's put down another one. A little backup right here. And, whoa, a lot of Moab balloons trying to sneak by. None of them even really came close. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, everyone. So, we actually did just technically lose on round 78. And I'll let you know why. A bunch of camo ceramic balloons came out. And they just kind of wiped right past us. So, this time, I put down more cleansing foam balloons. So, that, that way they... Or, more cleansing foam monkey engineers, I should say. That way they could find the ceramic balloons that are camo. And make it so that the rest of the towers could actually defeat them. So, we're going to see that actually in action this wave here. And, uh... Oh, man, here we go. The big red Moab and knock him down. All right, where are the crazy ceramic balloons that just made a mockery of my defenses here? Let's see. And there they are. And luckily enough, were those enough camos? I think that was enough cleansing foam. It was! There we go. So two more waves left, 79 and then 80. Uh, and uh, that'll hopefully prove our point that these monkey engineers are very powerful. And you can literally just use specifically only them. Not even using any other kind of boost at all. You don't need to use a support tower like the monkey village. You don't need even your hero out there. You literally just need the monkey engineers and you could technically beat wave 80. I mean, that being said, if you want money, I mean, obviously the banana farms help things out. But here it is, everyone. The final wave of it all against the Zomg Balloon. Can we get it? And... The trap can eat even Zomg Balloons? That is so OP! I love the Engineer Tower.